Kiora. In my experience, it is far better for students to experience STEAM opportunities throughout all of their work in problem-based learning classes. Following are some examples. These uh, learning arts can cultivate community and what they did first was going around in Nerima and interview the people who live around here and what represents Nerima. Okay. Because they wanted to be instigating from Alba to connect with the uh, Nerima community. Okay. And they came up with many responses and reflection about Nerima. And students realized Nerima represents nature and also great talking. And then also some of the group went into like Alba community. Yep. And they, then they had to learn the color palettes, color theories to make sure each fence will be cohesive. So not like different colors going on in a different fence. So even though they are working group, yep. they have to also collaborate with each group to communicate what color palettes will work with Alba, like next panel. So okay. now they are in the final product. They just need to produce it and apply it. Great, that's good stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Hi team, what are you guys doing? out of like pet bottles so we can stick them uh, into the fence. On the fence, so what do you, what's your big idea you're doing? So um, we're making art about friendship yep. and um, the colors we're using are green, blue, and purple to kind of to, to show that friendship is like magical and it's, it's something special in a way. Yep. And we're just showing like an art about how one side uh, of your friends are like awesome and they're great and the other side like sometimes you just don't want to be with your friends because of uh, for whatever reason. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, it's good. Well, Quite good work. This is your teamwork. That's great. So what are you, what are you guys doing here? Um, we are making a mural by our pet photo cap. And we are, we, the image that we are going to make is sunflower. Okay. Our, our topic is about um, bullying and we want to make the people who is getting bullied are really positive. So and we also went to um, the park yep. to interview like the Merimaku people and then they, we asked what they want to see in the art and then they said they want to see a positive Image, so we chose to do a positive image. Okay, that sounds really good. <laughs> good Here's the, uh, here's the team working on their, their story, so here's your team. Yes, um, yeah, we're working on wait, this, what we're working on. Yep. Right, so we make a short uh, story, and then at the end of the story, it doesn't really end with a conclusion, so it ends with the saying, uh, author put down his pen because he felt bad for the characters. So then we're trying to figure out why he felt bad for the characters, and um, the potential ending to that story. So we're writing a script right now, and then later on we're going to act it out, and we're going to film it, edit the film, and present it to class. Okay, sounds good. We create all the small little ideas, okay. and after it we are we organize these small ideas into sentences and more detail, and then we are we are going to and we already wrote. Uh, from here to like one and a half page. Okay. We didn't finish yet. But so you're doing your script now. Yeah.
きっと大丈夫だわあの子のことだから一生懸命に働いて出世してるでしょうしねいやそうかもしれんが気になる気持ちは変わらないよそんなに気になるなら一度小僧に行かれたらかかり屋に行って様子を見てきたらどうでしょうそうだね今日仕事の帰りに行ってみるよ A はあの小僧とのやり取りを忘れようって言い聞かせてきましたしかし2年経った今でも彼の心の奥底には小僧がいました彼は小僧のことを思い出すたびに自分と小僧の<咳>純粋さを再認識してしまい小僧との記憶をずっと心の奥に隠しその日からあのはかり屋の付近こんにちは体調はいかがですか時計が迫っているのを感じるよあの病気のことを考えたのですが娘さんには正直に伝えてあげるべきです特に親がいませんなので家族の温かみなどはよくわかりませんしかし最後まで病気のことを何も知らずに信じ続け後悔するよりも最後までそばにいられる方が楽だと思いますよ先生はとても純粋だねまるであの子のようだ So it's important that they have a space and they have all the materials that they that are available for them, so that they can use them and be creative and try all the different sorts of techniques and experiment with that, which is the best way to present their ideas. That's great. So they and they manage that themselves. Yes, it has to be there where they can. Yeah. <laughs> How's what's the big question? So the big question for the kids today is to show balance through different media. Through different media, okay. Yes. So that's a little inquiry. Yes. Okay, thank you they all have much. to work out what balance means and then they'll have to show what balance means to them as well as to the audience using the media that's just chosen. Okay, excellent. Yes. Thank you very much. How, can, how are you going to show balance? Is that your question? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so what are you doing to show balance? We are doing a mime to show the balance. So we think that so playing, resting, studying, and eating is the most important thing for children. So we are going to mind this. Month. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> was that your practice? Was it? Yeah. Oh. So how are you going to show balance? So we're going to show balance by doing a song and a dance. So this song and dance is basically about um, a girl and some few kids who are not working hard uh, for work um, education and people, uh, kids who don't eat vegetables and we're trying to um, tell that you should do both so that you can be healthy and only eat junk food sometimes. Only sometimes. Yeah. So that's that sounds like good. It's good fun. How's your... Um, you had a little practice. You want to have another little practice? Yeah. Let's have a you're look. You're getting better. Uh, you're getting better? She wants to have a Okay. Thank you very much. What are you doing now? Taking pictures and we're doing stop motion. <laughs> so what, what what's your topic you're doing on? You're doing, you're doing balanced? Yeah. So what, what how are you gonna show balanced? Oh, he's fishing too much, is he? Too much fish, yeah. Um, and then the shark caught, but the shark can't eat any fish, and he's like, oh. Okay. 
And so you're making a little animated movie, are you? Okay, let's go keep going. Thank you.